Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today we're gonna to be checking out and showing you how we hooked up the Pollock light duty toggle switch. So toggle switch, really simple electrical component, you know. Um, this one's gonna be a single pole, single throw, so you have two terminals on the back and it's just a simple on off switch. So it'll interrupt the circuit to, you know, um, turn your accessory off or power it on essentially. Um, this good general purpose switch, um, you know, you can use it for lights, uh, maybe small pumps, whatever the case may be. Um, it's going to work with 6 and 12 volt systems. If you have a 6 volt system, this is going to be rated for 35 amps. If you have a 12 volt system, which most people probably will, this is going to be rated at 20 amps. Actually, I'm using this switch here today on my boat to turn on some lights that I mounted up on the front of it. That way uh, I could see on the river at night time, make it a little easier to get on the trailer and whatnot. Um, and it was really easy for me because I had existing wiring already set up. It was originally for a horn and a momentary switch. The horn quit working. It's a really expensive part. I can make do without it, you know. So that's why I ended up changing out this momentary so I could have the lights on and be able to turn them off and not have to worry about keeping this button pushed down all the time whenever I'm trying to see. We do get a lot of people wondering if these little rubber boots will work with the switch. So these will go over it, you know, full coverage, or this one kind of just covers up the base of it. But unfortunately, uh, these boots will not work with this switch. All right, so I have the same one here. The threaded portion of the switch is just too small, so that just fits right over it. You actually won't be able to thread the boots onto it. So if you're dead set on using one of the boots or you know, you're not too crazy about a lot of the body of the switch being brass. There is another alternative, and it's this one. This one's also made by Pollock. Very similar in what it can handle and things like that. Uh, really compact, and this one, the threads are the correct size that will allow you to use those rubber boots. So just wanted to mention that in case that was your, uh, your hopes. So this is going to be a relatively compact switch, you know, not very big at all. Should be able to work in just about any situation, even if you do have a, a somewhat tight uh, spot you're trying to mount this up. Uh, so good stuff there. But other than that, you know, at the end of the day, good general purpose switch like we talked about. Um, in terms of getting this hooked up, really simple. Just have to hook up. You know, wire to each end of this to interrupt your circuit and mount this up through a switch panel or wherever you plan on putting it. So not a whole lot to it, but if you're interested, um, hang around. We'll go ahead and set the one up on the boat uh, now. To get the switch installed, you know, everyone's setup is going to be a little bit different, um, but for the most part, it's going to be straightforward. You know, you'll have two wires that you need to hook up and a spot to mount up the switch. In our case, since uh, we're just replacing an existing switch, everything's really easy. You don't really have to, to route or run any wires or drill any holes or anything since we already have it, you know, like I said, existing in our switch panel. But with that said, we're going to be working right here in this area. First thing that we're going to do is kind of prep our switch. So you'll have this uh, uh, nut we can take off and then the on-off placard and Whenever you set this up, you might notice there's a groove in the threads there. And that's for the on-off placard to kind of sit on. So off will be down if that's how you want it. Make sure that's how you end up mounting that up. But from there, we're going to have two posts. We'll just take those screws and get them backed out. And the wiring that you're going to hook to this We'll need ring terminals like this. Uh, my setup had them on there, but you can always get them here at E-Trailer if you need them. And these are just gonna line up. And we'll get the screw started. And when you go to hook this up, if you don't know what wire does what on yours, um, you know, so let's say if you get it hooked up and whenever it's in the off position, if your accessory turns on, and if you flip it up in the on position, your accessory turns off, all you'll have to do is you know, change these wires around to uh, set it up right. So, same thing with this terminal. And 
get it tightened down, we'll be good to go as far as uh, hooking up the wires uh, are concerned. From here, we'll just mount this up to our panel. We'll feed it through the opening. You put on your on-off plate there, and simply just tighten the nut down. Once this is done, good idea to test the switch. So I'll turn on my master power here. And if I flip this to the on position, the lights that this is powering should illuminate. And go ahead and flip this to the on position. And my lights come on just like you'd expect them to. And that'll finish up our look at of the Pollock light duty toggle switch.